What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Man, look. Hey, we were out shopping for a tool shed. We had this old raggedy one, right? We were at Lowe's. And we were shopping for a tool shed, and uh, we decided to look at this one. And my wife, for some reason, decided to pull up a, re a YouTube review on it. And she couldn't find anything except this one video. And you know what? That video was so bad. She said, babe, I think you need to do a review on this thing because the one I watched it was horrible. So people need to know about this tool shed because the video that's out there is horrible. So you should do a review. So I said, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. So check this out, man. This is a Suncast Sutton 7x7 uh, tool shed. There's actually other sizes for this thing, but we decided to get the 7x7 because of our budget. I think it was about maybe 500 bucks it was on sale. We decided to get this one just because of the way it looked. Uh, it has a nice little house looking style to it. It actually kind of matches our house, so it worked out pretty perfect. But let's go ahead and take a look inside this thing. So first of all, I love the handles, man. It's got like some real classy handles. These are actually literally the same type of door handles we have on our doors at home. So when I said it matched our house perfectly, I wasn't playing around. Also, check out the windows. I didn't really see a need for windows, but uh, now that I've actually got all my stuff in there, it actually, you know, it's kind of nice to just peek in there and see and make sure my stuff is still in there. Anyway, these are plexiglass windows, so it's not glass or anything. Now this thing is made out of some type of plastic resin material. Uh, it has this uh, ventilated top up here. Uh, it's also in the back as well. Uh, I want to say it stands about eight feet tall, but it's got shingles up there. I'm going to go ahead and reach up there so you can see. Well, let's go ahead and open it up. Let me get my lock off here. Kick that lever to the side. All right. Now. We got this thing open. Now check out the hinges. They are pretty sturdy hinges and they do allow the door to open up all the way. That way you can get all your stuff in there. Okay, now this thing actually does come with the floor, which was a bonus because we actually did look at a lot of them, especially those aluminum ones that did not come with the floor. You had to build a platform for it, which was something I wasn't really interested in doing. Now, one thing I do like, let's get inside here. All right, so this other door, the other door, it actually has a latch up top. Let me see if I can get that in shot. Uh, let's move around this side. There we go. You see that latch up there at the top? Okay, you have to unlatch that. Pull it down. Then there's one at the bottom. That way your doors don't go flinging all open. Man, these things are tight. Now we got, we got this thing fully exposed now. Let me back up, get you a good shot of what it looks like fully exposed. Now this door has got to be at least five feet wide. So if you got like a riding lawnmower, it's definitely going to fit. You can actually probably fit Mm, two small riding lawnmowers in here. There's my full-size lawnmower right there. I've actually, this thing is, the walls are actually sturdy enough to actually put up some shelving. I've got some shelving up here. And uh, this is just something I kind of concocted with some materials that was left in my garage. So I just put up some beams right there for a little bit of support. I've actually got some pegboard in here with all my lawn and garden equipment up in here. So the walls are actually pretty sturdy, but I will comment on the walls in just a second. Got all my lawn and garden equipment in here. Got my crawfish pot sitting up in there, bounce house, power washer. So all my outdoor stuff is in here. Now, as far as the construction, I got one gripe about this thing, okay? Uh, they put a ton of engineering and support into the roof, okay? This roof is extremely sturdy. They have this cross beam here. Let me see what else. They got more cross beams, more cross beams. Got bolts and nuts up there, another cross beam. Another cross B. <laughs> I'm serious. They put a lot of support into the roof. So the roof ain't going nowhere. But there's absolutely no cross beam or metal structuring as far as the um, as far as the walls are concerned. So if you can look around there inside of the walls, it's actually just that plastic resin material, which is fine because it's actually really sturdy. I was just kind of, you know, amazed by the fact that they put so much in the engineering of the roof uh, construction, but not the rest of it. Uh, the way this thing is put together, it actually took me and the wife about two hours to put this thing together ourselves and um, it's pretty much a snap and go kind of thing now when you get to the roof once again there's a lot of screws you got to put the, put in there but everything's pretty self-explanatory but of course we use the instructions there's a there's some screws that actually attach the roof to the walls as you can see right there but uh, as far as everything snapping together like the walls this is actually three components you got one two and then three components that are sandwiched together to make the full wall and that's actually uh two components on the back wall and they actually snap into the floor. It's kind of like a slot and snap kind of construction in there. But once again, the whole thing is very sturdy. I don't see it baking in the sun and warping or anything like that. Um, it actually does stay relatively cool in here because it's ventilated. Now, as far as keeping the critters out, because that was another problem we had with our old decrepit raggedy shed, 
it doesn't have massive openings. Um, and of course, you know, rodents aren't gonna chew through this thing. Uh, but I will say that there are some gaps. So if you're really concerned about, you know, little cr critters and stuff getting here and making nests, like you see a little gap right here, that's big enough for, I don't know, maybe, maybe an ant. So, you know, you might end up getting some ants in here or something like that. I don't see anything big enough. Let me look in here. This one isn't terribly big, but it's one of the bigger ones. I don't see anything bigger enough for maybe, maybe a gecko could get in here. Maybe. I don't know how, how small those things can squeeze into, but, um, even the little louvers up here it's actually protected by a mesh material i don't know if you can see that through the uh through the camera but that's a mesh material up here as far as letting critters in man i don't think you're gonna have too much of a problem uh, especially with big stuff uh, i don't know maybe wasp maybe but you know it, it just depends if you want to get some sealant and kind of i think i'm gonna go to home depot or lowe's and get some uh see if i can find some type of foam sealant or something to kind of spray around the seams because i really do not want any you know creepy critters running around here Especially you come up in here and get stung by a wasp, man. You're not gonna be having a good day. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with y'all because the review online was so terrible, I had to do my own review. Let me back up and get a frontal shot. All right, that's what it looks like once again when it's all fully assembled. Looks like a nice little dollhouse. Anyways, that is the Suncast Sutton 7x7 uh, tool shed review. Hey, I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff, especially this kind of stuff, man. I'm just doing reviews. But before I get out of here, I'm going to need y'all to tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all at the next one.